officially we will start and i hear a bhutan the television also they are showing so many media people and uh, government officer army police and media men and it people are gathering okay and uh, mm-hmm. dr kim please a uh, little bit time to us okay and as you know uh, this uh, meeting is uh, uh, many people are joining from japan korea and the uh, maldives and uh, even australia so we have uh, we will have one family and uh, and uh, we have uh, sharing this uh, technology south asia uh, mr sonam you are here i need sonam sonam ji from bhutan yeah sonam ji uh, yeah uh, please uh, start and you welcome uh, let's uh, welcome to uh, mr sonam from bhutan okay thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much uh-huh. so please start hello hello dr kim can you hear me ah uh, yes i can i can hear you uh we are also okay. broadcasting o- over facebook so people can see who is not joining this conference okay go ahead very good morning and kuzu sampula from bhutan Firstly, yes, we have a all of you in meeting. Thank you everyone for attending this online meeting today. The online meeting is about Darim and I Studio Smart Broadcasting Company based in Korea. Okay. Darim is a top hardware and software designed to make online presentation, meeting and lecture professional easy and convenient. We mm-hmm. all know that Bhutan and in fact the world is getting to such new normal due to covid-19 where everything is going online there is no escaping from this reality as a professional in IT we all agree that we will need to top and reliable hardware software to make our life easier so Notary Group of Company in Bhutan is happy to partner with Mr. Kim's company. Okay. After me, Mr. Shiva Newpani from Vision Nepal will introduce Mr. Kim, the presenter for the meeting. Mr. Kim will run through the presentation and you are welcome to ask any question. Hope to work with you very soon and we need your support so that we can make online engage productive professional and fun thank you and enjoy the presentation thank you thank you sanam ji thank you thank you very much uh, dr kim so welcome all of you that uh, internationally and uh, the konnichiwa from the japan and the anenga sevika korea and good afternoon and a good morning from Nepal and all over the world. Uh, this is a third time presentation and Dr. Kim has a, a very hard uh, schedule and in Korea. So today we request and the Bhutan and uh, especially the other part of the world also joining. Uh, I, I will not delay this uh, time and uh, we will have a, a decent uh, Dr. Kim presentation and uh, especially Bhutan, two or three presented uh, 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 through a commentator will be have uh, some question and then uh, if some special guest there we will welcome and in, we will have free free question answer so uh, dr kim not uh, delay and uh, let's welcome you and uh, uh, give the presentation a welcome to bhutan in it wall and i studio dr kim please forward okay thank you everybody uh, today is uh, saturday here so i believe every every people should have a weekend nice weekend but uh appreciate for sharing our information together so uh, today i just select uh, one of the uh, easiest software which is called e studio so i uh, the reason is this is uh, uh, quite easy and quite simple and also low price and also we have a free version so at least uh, we can start with this program to show how nice uh, eStudio is. So at least we can use this machine to solve COVID problem. 
So when you try to install this one, you will have a small difficulties because the idea is uh, quite different from previous method. But basically, uh, uh, this tool, as you see, uh, make a very different feeling from the student side. From teacher side, it's very easy. For example, if you make a right click, it shows the Zoom screen. All the people use this Zoom for uh, distance learning or a remote presentation. Uh, there are many uh, professors and uh, specialists in broadcast engineering in this group and also there are several uh, the education uh, professors and uh, the person who is working for this learning management systems or uh, many other content management systems to change the way of teaching through uh, the electric computer uh, smart world technologies. So something strange thing is after we all have a 4G, I mean you have a high speed connection, at least several megabps bandwidth in Bhutan and Nepal. Uh, your area is one of the mountain area where all the connection has been uh, very slow. But today uh, I was very uh, excited because uh, last time when we have a conference, everybody send me some pictures, photos, uh, who is watching my video from your computer. I surprised that quality of you have there, even Zoom, we are using server, Zoom server in USA, but from USA to Bhutan, USA to Australia, USA to Maldives. Uh, the surprising quality is coming. Uh, for example, now uh, the, uh, the uh, this this quality, as you see here, you see, uh, this is a uh, HD quality which never been possible. Uh, just using the broadcast technology, using the satellite technology, there was a uh, only way to transmit from one place to to here. But today we have such a quality of video from Bhutan without, uh, from Nepal without paying any money. This is what unbelievable world we are living now. Such a fast change of technology, such a fast uh, deployment of technology, smartphone, everybody has smartphone, computer. So all this, uh, the uh, living environment we are, uh, we are enjoying is first uh, revolutionary technology world. And now uh, what I'm showing is using all the existing human-made technology, I just add a small part, which is iStudio presentation tools. As you see, the classroom has been changed. All the, all the classroom you see after we have a blackboard, uh, they start to use blackboard in the classroom. So you can imagine what happens if there's no blackboard in the classroom. Like a Buddha's speech, they sitting in the center, all the people there, and, and they listen verbally. And then there is some same pictures in the front, statues there, uh, the monks start speaking. All the imagination from their brain, all the people who is listening Buddha's speech, for example, they, they have uh, their virtual world in their brain. Now I'm trying to bring a uh, different way of presentation, bringing the virtual electric whiteboard, which is uh, this. So here we can show my PowerPoint. <coughs> so the PowerPoint picture's coming out now. This is what I'm using now. We have a notebook. We have one screen where we have a zoom. The other screen, my output. We have a small switch and mixer here, so I can make this presentation like this. So whenever I, uh, I keep talking, the computer is enough clever to bring uh, my video big so you can see my, my eye. So students will feel they are sitting in front of the classroom. So this product which I am uh, now using is called eStudio, uh, which means everybody can use this one from their notebook, from their computer. The only limitation right now is we strongly uh, recommend you to use graphic acceleration chips. So I'm looking for some partners in China who can provide a reasonable cost of the graphic acceleration notebook or computer. So Alibaba, I, I checked, there are very interesting many uh, computers. This is the way how we 
may uh, use that machine in Nepal and Bhutan. Anyway, we have a very wide range of product from the simple one which I'm using now and also very professional which I, I show you uh, previous time. Uh, the total cost in you know, a retail price wise, uh, the highest level more than 50,000 US dollar complete broadcast system you can install. And also the, the software which I'm using now, very simple because the ease of use is the most important for part for teacher. So I will explain you how this machine is working shortly before you uh, understand uh, this is for everybody. E-Studio uh, bring you the uh, AR class uh, for the Zoom peoples. So when you, when you see my video in Zoom, uh, you will see my class. Instead of watching, uh, for example, we have a, a screen like this. So when I have this one, this is Zoom class. If you have this class like this, everybody boring because the teacher and students very similar. But once you have this picture, uh, it will change the concept of presentation. And here on this screen, I can freely change it from PowerPoint to a live camera to uh, my rooms and then another camera. Uh, here we have several different cameras and pictures. I can bring the picture from Bhutan. So I can show what's, uh, what's the uh, scenery of Bhutan, how the Bhutan classroom looks like. And then the peoples, uh, this is just got from the messenger. So I, I like this picture very much. So all the tools, how we change picture, how we show the picture, how we show the video from your mobile phone, how we uh, make a PowerPoint uh, presentation on this uh, uh, virtual electric board is very important. So uh, the eStudio is providing the teacher the tools how they present uh, their idea on their computer. So as soon as you have a computer, uh, any, any used computer, whatever, it doesn't matter. But if you have a computer, you can install a free version, you can use it. It's like a Zoom, we have a 15 minute uh, free version, I mean 45 something, I didn't remember exactly, so you can use this. Uh, this is a kind of a starting point for you to understand how we use AR class technology to, feel, to make the students feeling as like they are watching in the AR classroom. Uh, so the, when you uh, suggest to have a classroom like I'm doing now, today we will have an e-studio class. I invite all the people uh, here to present my video, then you are watching my class instead of Zoom only. Zoom is very simple, you can show this way. But my class is different like this way. So the, all the uh, decoration to, to make my desk, to make my virtual classroom, it looks like a broadcasting, simple broadcasting. So you can be a broadcaster from your computer and just using notebook camera and then all the pictures uh, you take from mobile phone or whatever and your PowerPoint and that's the way how you can make a perfect presentation there. Of course we have a lot of uh, other features in this e studio and this one anyway it can be the start point. So when uh, any person who have a budget who has a business there of course they can be uh, distribute our product which is a professional version you can introduce for them to be a professional broadcasting presentation studio there. So I'm, I'm talking with uh, my partner in Japan and also uh, Shiba and all the people how we, how we bring this technology for you to, to get the, uh, the knowledge from other countries, how you get the uh, students to, to encourage you to study. So once you agree that this presentation, when I do my PowerPoint presentation for example, so this notebook has a connection to make more screen because we need the zoom, we need the control, we need the output. And that is uh, uh, the new uh, classroom. So we are all in one classroom in Bhutan, Australia and uh, uh, Nepal. Everybody's spread there 
But what I'm doing is we are in one class, which never been possible in previous time. Every time we we believe we have to go to the class to meet the teacher, we have to go to the classroom to have a students. Now we have a, a board here, and also uh, we can change all this on very easily, much easier than uh, the uh, normal uh, normal board. I mean electric board. So there we can change the screen here. Sometimes I can bring students. So you all you just watching this one and feel that you have students there. So in the classroom, what is the classroom uh, means? Classroom, there is a teacher first. So teacher always sitting here without any green. You see this is AL technology. And when you want to teach her, they automatically bring teacher speak. So my eye going to everybody's eyes. So they feel that I'm, I'm watching individually, simultaneously uh, eye contact. So the untacked classroom is not anymore uh, right. The contact or direct uh, contact Hello. teaching is made from e-studio and i-studio for you to teach every student. So students sit is, uh, thinking uh, I'm doing individual teaching to everybody. This is the very important technology which went will actually overcome the problems of classroom teaching. So uh, the, the idea which I'm bringing is a new classroom, new smart classroom technique where we can really do presentation for the people. So once you have this notebook and invite to Zoom, that means you, you create virtual classroom where you can see students, where you can see a uh, PowerPoint presentation, so all the students don't need to have this screen. I mean the Zoom screen here, you see the, uh, this case, uh, watching this one only is a Zoom. It's not, not the classroom, but when we uh, do iStudio, it brings the classroom so everybody coming into class. And uh, uh, the first step, uh, the teacher asking students is coming to the nice classroom where you can use a blackboard, whiteboard, or projectors. Same thing. If they come to e-studio classroom, they have a beautiful classroom where you can teach all the people with your easy, manageable blackboard, which is this. So this one you can draw, or you can erase, and then you will see how many people joining this uh, conference. Uh, that way we can really overcome the distance problem. And also once I do this uh, presentation in Facebook or YouTube, they will stay forever. So same video which you are watching now can be shown to other students who didn't participate this conference or these meetings. That means classroom teaching, if you compare all the previous teaching, the students who didn't uh, attend in the classroom, they have no opportunity to listen that class again. Now, even the people who doesn't come to this class, they can see any time, any place uh, in, in their computers. That's a very different concept from normal classroom and smart classroom. I'm defining the smart classroom. It's the lecture people can see from your smart device, as like, like you're watching. So let me continue for this machine. So if you have a PTG camera, it will be better. Uh, it's like I'm using the camera there. And if you have an audio interface, which is about $100 from the market, I believe there are many audio interface. There are some speakers we are using. Because uh, Zoom, as soon as you have a Zoom or a WebEx or a Google Meet or a Micro Teams, every a, a computer conference people speaking there which means you have to listen and then you have to talk uh, which means we need a speaker all the time so if you go to very expensive broadcast studio there is no speaker inside they only have a earphone to have a talk back the, to listen uh, the command signal from the production director or engineers but here what we have to do is this environment is different this environment we need to hear your voice and I need to talk. It's like a normal classroom, everybody talk to each other. So we, uh, we need a speaker here, we need a small light to have a little bit better. So my, uh, 
my skin actually much worse than your skin, but because you are living very nice air, very nice uh, the countries. But here, Korea, Seoul is a, a little bit more polluted country than your, your city, I believe. My skin is not very good as you have, but I have a light, so small shining light to make myself beautiful, and some lighting condition we are doing. So such kind of uh, broadcast technology we need to, uh, to make this kind of uh, uh, environment more nice because uh, for now, as you see, uh, uh, we have more than maybe 20 or 40 people watching. So this video, today you are watching uh, in real time, 40 students there. So everybody can make a question and answer. Uh, while I'm doing broadcasting, so my Facebook friends, many friends I believe they are watching now. So uh, that means once you try to make any lesson, you have to make your class more beautiful, more nicely, because this video can stay forever. Uh, the, the, after we pass this, uh, this Earth's life, uh, if you go to another, uh, another world, still, this video can stay in YouTube or Facebook or video on your, on your libraries. So uh, finally, uh, human beings now living on this planet, year 2020, is an unbelievably beautiful life, which means connected world. So how can we meet uh, uh, on my life? Now I'm, I'm watching uh, Budi Kaki, I'm watching Deki, I'm watching Tanto, uh, Tanto has no video now. Tanto is a picture, but I can see the face <laughs> anyway. And then I can see the Madihav, uh, Laji. Uh, my pronunciation is not very good. Sorry about that. And the Rawang, and then oh, all this, uh, uh, the Pema, Lexan. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, this morning I prayed to, to, uh, to uh, God that uh, we will meet uh, many valuable people, very appreciate for having this kind of relationship and having this opp opportunity to talk together. This world, uh, the still uh, people don't believe presentation has to be on the classroom. This is, this is a topic we have to solve and we have to discuss today how we how we bring the content from Korea University, uh, the, you know, there is a SNU, which is one of the best universities in Korea. We have KAIST, uh, we have MIT, we have uh, Stanford. And if you propose to Stanford to make uh, this kind of service, so, so one of the students in, in Bhutan go to Stanford class, the technology for computer or a software program, you go there, making this e-studio inside, put this camera to teacher and bring their PowerPoint on the screen and then you broadcast this one to Bhutan. What happens? You have unlimited students can see. I don't believe Stanford reject this idea because it's a, it's a knowledge transfer. It's a, uh, it's a different way from conventional MOOC. They say there is a MOOC course, a lot of MOOC course in in uh, edX or edX Coursera uh, Udemy many but what I'm saying is that video is a kind of uh, uh, the uh, uh, this kind of a different way from classroom they they took a video from class which means class class recording the the teaching I'm using even e studio this become the classroom. This is a teaching courses. This is exactly what I'm, I'm trying to teach and what teacher, professor wants to teach to the students. So it looks like a private lesson to individual students. So as soon as you bring this notebook in classroom, and making this live recording and streaming all over the world, all the knowledge in MIT, Stanford can go out. So what I'm, uh, what I'm suggesting is I have uh, several friends in the uh, for example, World Bank in Washington. We have uh, UNESCO. The surprising things they are eager to help education people, especially in Africa or other countries. They 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 believe ed that way of education will really change the uh, the uh, culture of life, culture of the universe. That's why they are really willing to to support this kind of country. 
So I hope you uh, check. I am not professional how, what kind of international uh, support groups is working, but I believe Korea also are uh, supporting a lot of money for many countries, especially for education area. So we can use that program as soon as you got idea to exchange the knowledge pumping from MIT, Stanford to Nepal, and then Nepal students to listen and also has opportunity to evaluate their level in that school. So that, that evaluation Nepal government can do, Nepal uh, Bhutan government can do. They make a, uh, they took examination similar way as uh, Stanford or MIT asking them to to get some evaluation forms or RMS so they can participate. Of course, some some kind of uh, uh, the business uh, contact with them to make uh, some money. Maybe they are asking, but the money in case you have a problem, you can, we can work with uh, World Bank or uh, UNESCO team to to support it. So uh, the only thing I am emphasizing, what I am contributing is really now tele presentation is possible because the next slide, for example, if I rotate, we have next slide. You can put this kind of picture. You can make this kind of a meeting room using notebook. So we have a notebook and cameras you can connect to make this kind of a environment. So imagine you bring this notebook in the classroom. There is a teacher. You can bring teacher here. It's like I'm doing now. And there is a PowerPoint which teacher is showing on the projector screen. We can combine and streaming to smart world and also even to the projector screen. There's a new way of presentation, teaching in the classroom. Teacher don't have to be in front. Teacher can teach in anywhere. So that culture is very new. Uh, uh, the, uh, so we have to change all the existing studio. You know, all the, all the conventional studio, they have a control room, they have a studio. So they separate the teacher and operator. That's a big problem. So I'm, I'm bringing this e studio i studio for teacher, for presenter to manage everything by himself. So that way we can make uh, uh, some rooms like this. This is iStudio, a little bit beautiful screen coming out. And also we have a uh, broadcast studio. This is, a, this is really the uh, Korea, Korea uh, TV Joseon are using our technology for this. Of course, this, uh, uh, this is a little bit high-end uh, product, but anyway, uh, iStudio can do a similar one. This is uh, what I explained yesterday. The classroom also we can change using this uh, rare teaching, something like that. So uh, uh, all this presentation uh, environment now time to change for such a large uh, area. We have, uh, uh, for example, the uh, videos there to have a uh, uh, very different way of teaching we, we made. Uh, uh, this is... Uh, this is actually I, I made for uh, something. Uh, this is YouTube, they link. Uh, so as you see this, this kind of video from AR. This is a camera presenter coming out. We have a PowerPoint. So this screen showing on big, uh, uh, big PowerPoint uh, slide there. Anyway, uh, I'm using this uh, uh, YouTube video. Uh, this is what uh, what I made in uh, in uh, in this uh, uh, the uh, this environment. So as I show you here, many many demos I, I made to change the way of teaching from everywhere. The one of the other machine uh, I have is uh, this kind of simulator. You know the world's biggest uh, 4D theater. Uh, it's a CJ in Korea. They use this uh, motion chair in the theater so they can feel more immersive way of virtual movie. And now I developed this one new one, which I'm, I may uh, uh, try to uh, start this business in Nepal. So all the beautiful mountain in Bhutan, beautiful mountain Mo 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 Maldives. I mean, there's a sea. Now, uh, all the nice tourist area, uh, which I, I saw the beautiful place, for example, you show me 
uh, this temple, for example, it's, a b it's beautiful. But how can people can go there? This space for only maybe 100 people. Nobody can climb, nobody can see from from bottom side. They have to climb from bottom to top, but we can use a drone to climb there to show all the internal side, all this video Bhutan people or uh, Nepal people make. <coughs> Excuse me. So the, uh, once we have uh, this kind of uh, traveling devices, for example, uh, what I am showing here is my PowerPoint. So here, this machine, small machine, uh, they can take and they can put this uh, the uh, HMD screen, the 360 uh, video you can see, so they can feel as like they are in the Bhutan. So that kind of uh, uh, business we can also uh, create. So. The, we have all all people now has a very good idea how uh, b uh, how we can make a beautiful a beautiful uh, cultures cultural exchanges uh, education exchanges enhance the way of life and I believe we, if we work together there are many uh, way we can immediately to try first of course I, I I hope you introduce this one, this one to university and schools so they can buy at least one or two machines. This is a simple way to go. Next step is how we can give this free of charge software to many people to use, to teach them, to, to make their COVID environment of isolation of classroom. But once this one really working for teaching to remotely, it will really change the paradigm of conventional classroom teachings. And teacher from anywhere, students to everywhere. So teacher from USA, students in Bhutan or Nepal, no problem. So even this simple technology, the software which I'm selling now is a three thousand US dollar for software. Notebook if you buy two thousand dollar and you can put this one, you have you can have this kind of uh, uh, presentation there. Even even no chroma key you can do anywhere, any classroom using this technology. And also this software, we have free version. So you can go to Tarim website, download, install. As soon as you have a good uh, computer, I mean game computer, you can go uh, use this uh, presentation. Once you have this program, you can make a million content easily from one machine every time. So today's idea is uh, Tarim uh, really interested in working together, but uh, we are not very big company uh, uh, yet. But anyway, the first step we can go is you can be uh, the uh, messenger who can introduce this technology for other people. If they have done, done budget, they can use free version to start. If they have budget, they can, they can buy this machine. So you will have a business anyway there. And also, same time, we can uh, contact, we can check all the government supporting uh, the plan from from World Bank, from UNESCO, from this kind of people. I may also try to find uh, some connection there. I will let uh, Shiba Sang know, and they can uh, communicate. At least knowledge transfer from Stanford, from MIT, whatever. There are tons of schools. Uh, uh, the good school. The uh, important thing is, I don't believe uh, teaching makes the people change. The teaching brings the encourage uh, for students to study. If they know the goal, if they know how to get to the uh, climb the mountain, they can climb. But if they don't know the goal and climbing, they never try to climb the mountain. So the most important part, part is not showing how to make a teaching, how to make uh, uh, the ease to the use. But more important thing is we Hello? show the, the uh, students to have the hope to have the, uh, Any question? So uh, anyway, uh, today I show you very simple software uh, which Shiba Sang now have. But Shiba Sang is not IT engineer, so he's not using this one very nicely. Depending on how nicely we use, the uh, output looks very professional. But anyway, there is a software. We spend huge time to make this software for everybody to use. And if you really try to make a sample video from this, you will, you will understand the technology. After that, uh, you can have a better one like M Studio, I Studio, V Studio, which is a more professional way. It really make a virtual. But uh, the, the, all this product has very important point. 
one is teachers, teacher's face going there. The other, the other one is presenting materials going on. So you can make a PowerPoint there. So uh, this uh, uh, tele tour, tele uh, classroom is the uh, steps we are working now. So I, I really hope to make a certain uh, uh, the uh, idea how we uh, really uh, make a different uh, different uh, education system there. Okay, this is uh, uh, the general idea today I'm, I'm trying to bring. So uh, uh, this kind of notebook, uh, this kind of recording is a uh, way and also we are, we are trying to bring this technology for Nepal and all the tourist area. So the business model is we send this one, you receive money from tourists and we share together. So small investment you need for traveling or transportation there and then we need to teach how you make a video from drone. So uh, now drone uh, driving, uh, piloting drone is not so complicated. They have an autopilot, uh, very uh, advanced intelligent controller doing uh, inertial navigation. So you, the only thing you need to is a climb, left turn, right turn and moving. So it will have a camera, th this one will record the video then we will provide the tools how you edit to make uh, this video on this machine. So if you send this video, we make this one, we return and they can see. So all the mountain beautiful place you can sell uh, to tourists for example. And then we can share. That's, a, that's a one of the ideas we can do. And also the, uh, the recording system for example, we can, we can work together. If you doesn't have a budget, we can send the machine so you can you can start the recording service and we can share this one to cover the cost. So many, many uh, directions we can discuss. So I hope to have uh, uh, some uh, discussion how we make a business together. And also the, uh, the pumping idea from China or from uh, USA. We just uh, send one person and they can uh, discuss with the Stanford University or Berkeley University or MIT University to share their, their content. In, in, uh, as a compensation for their uh, effort, we just suggest that we will make a good video for you to put in MOOC. Instead, we want to use this video for Bhutan, for example. This kind of uh, uh, discussion also possible. I'm not sure which way is the best because I'm not politician, I'm not education engineer. I just want you to, uh, to get idea and more practical steps we can go. So either we can start from business and also distribution or we can make a government working. So Korean government, Japan government and also UNESCO, whatever the World Bank has uh, many programs for supporting uh, learning uh, the students in, in all these countries. But you have a very valuable two things in your country. One is a very beautiful uh, the tourist place. We have the pumping that tourist place from virtual technology. You see the, the all the beautiful place. I, I really miss, for example, this kind of place to, to go. And everybody wants to be there to have a meditation while learning the knowledge. So we can make a class, for example, Buddha's class. I don't know what this temple means, but anyway, for example, let's say this is a Buddha's uh, meditation or a training course. And then to have that course, they have to go this mountain. What you can do is uh, the, uh, the famous monk in this uh, temple can speak every morning. And then they have a free of charge broadcasting all over the world like this. And then people will donate for support. So many uh, intelligent, uh, intellectual uh, the uh, values you already have. So I, I really hope this kind of uh, the idea, beautiful uh, traveling also, and also uh, the knowledge transfer from there to uh, Korea or other people. Even we have uh, uh, many new uh, technology. I'm, I'm every day I'm going to the mountain. I do some small exercising and meditation, Korean style of uh, the meditation, and I'm listening many many Buddha's uh, uh, speech and the Bible study, all these kind of things to. Uh, to meditate, to train myself. Same thing. Every people, when they have a, a the better life, they always thinking their life also. They are looking for what's the meaning of living, what's the goal of life, and then they will find the Buddha. 
So everybody missing in their mind to go India or Nepal or Bhutan to have this kind of uh, the spiritual spiritual their uh, native village. So as soon as I see this picture, why they are they are putting this uh, temple in this uh, the cliff area? And I believe there are special reason they put a lot of effort to have there. And then already my mind is be willing to be there to have a meditation on this. Uh, a prayer or meditation on this temple. So virtually, we can make people to visit there. So once the, the uh, famous monk and this uh, reverend whoever sitting and talking, people can see. So using this e-studio, i-studio technology, we can make that kind of uh, knowledge transfer to other country. So uh, tourist part is one thing, so we can bring, we can make a students, or I mean the people in the world can make a virtual travel to this Nepal and uh, the uh, Bhutan or whatever, the Maldives is one of the most beautiful places in the world. So how we can make a business to make uh, valuable things to other people is the idea how we can work together. So I'm not the specialist in, in business area, but I'm, I'm slightly specialist in VR technology area. But my idea is how we solve the problem of education, not visiting the class, but using the telepresentation technology. Once we make a tele-class, smart class, which means the classroom from the smartphone, is really possible and easy, then we can change the way of uh, education, uh, the structures uh, we, which human beings has been built for school and classroom. So all the classroom can be everywhere, students can be anywhere. Same thing, the traveling, the too busy nice place who God created, I don't know who created, but uh, let's say some nature. Uh, such a beautiful, many, many place. Once we use a drone technology, once we have camera technology, we can make much better than real traveling. So imagine when you visit the uh, Niagara Falls or uh, or any Grand Canyon. When I visit Grand Canyon, driving two nights uh, from San Francisco to there, maybe one week we drive. Well, as soon as I, I arrive there, I surprise such a beautiful landscape I see in the Grand Canyon. But after five minutes, I found all the scenery same. No change, just a five minute, 10 minutes, nothing to see more. And I have to return back because I have uh, only one day the, to have another valley tour. I need to go down one day by using monk and then go down very uh, steep cliff. I have to go down to see the valley. So finally I uh, uh, try to see theater. There is IMAX theater in, in, in uh, Grand Canyon. And what I see that theater was uh, vid, uh, the movie which I saw in Korea, same IMAX movie. But now we have all the, all the nice tools. So I really hope to take a very beautiful video so we can make a, the virtual tour to make a business together. Anyway, all this idea I can dis I'm discussing with Shiba. Uh, he, he knows something so we can make a small step-by-step -step working and then maybe we can create new business together. Anyway, that's a, a short summary. I believe I already make a, a 15 minute uh, speech. Uh, I believe everybody getting start sleeping if I continue. It's better today's speech finish here. So may I have your uh, uh, question if you, if you want to. Please, uh, thank you, thank you Dr. Kim. Uh, Dr. Kim, uh, can you hear me? Uh, very small, small audio. Uh, sound not very yeah. big. Dr. Kim, uh, they are the very important people in the, uh, Bhutan. They are all the, uh, the army police officer and the prime minister, uh, the secretary, IT engineer, all they are represented in Bhutan. Uh -huh. they are the, very uh, the, the voice level, some reason, not very big for me. Uh, every, everybody okay? Previous time okay, but now after you have a earphone, the sound not very clear. Uh, Sonamji, Sonamji, please, uh, yes. Some yes. please uh, ask some uh, questions. Yes, uh, uh, I'd like to throw the question uh, to the floor of the, our, like, uh, uh, who are, uh, I mean, participate in the, this uh, Zoom meeting. Please, uh, 
uh, ladies and gentlemen please if you have any question uh, please uh, uh, ask to dr kim kim uh, i'm sure he will give uh, uh, i mean uh, whatever you require uh, regarding this uh, presentation hmm. please do uh, i mean uh, throw some question please uh, ladies and gentlemen please from bhutan question please uh dashu chedo if you have some question please raise la dashu yeah. chedo hello good morning uh, dr kim mhm can you hear me yes i can hear you Okay, uh, I am Rano in the quarantine facility. So I, I would like to uh, ask, how can this technology be, be used in the police uh, in the police organizations? Can you throw some uh, ideas? And I would like to hear. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, the emergency situation you need to decide are uh, very important. Sometimes very, very dangerous place. You should, you should, everybody should know, and then they should go there. For example, when one person, one police, uh, the policeman has a mobile phone. He he put he put the mobile phone on, and then for example, Zoom connection, so all the policemen can share that information. So they know where this one happened, and they know exactly what the situation uh, is there, and they can go immediately without using any CCTV. CCTV normally has a fixed position, but anyway, you can put that kind of situation. Furthermore, more important thing is every criminal or every dangerous situation, we have recording video because the CCTV is a fixed camera that they cannot move in everywhere. But the policemen, when they uh, go to a very dangerous place, they take a video, and then all this video, maybe you can make a presentation for people to educate why this happened, how we can prevent this. Uh, this kind of thing also one of the powerful tools. Basically, uh, this Zoom is uh, the transferring video in real time without using satellite, without using microwave, which has been used for broadcasters. They always sending car to transmit video from there to here, but now mobile phone has better camera. Any environment they make automatic brightness control, and they transmit this video to everybody. So that is a, a quite a important point. Now we can use. Anyway, I'm not I'm not uh, used to, to uh, police situation, but I believe this is a, a private opinion. Yes, thank you. Thank okay. You very much. Yeah, please go. Uh, any like uh, Shiva, Shiva, I'll just uh, yeah, from tourism side, uh, any like uh, Mr. Tamchu or Doji, and uh, from uh, agriculture side, education yeah. side, and uh, health okay. side, if any well, like uh, question, please throw up. So, I have one question to Dr. Kim. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please, la. go ahead. La. My apologies at the beginning for forgetting to mute uh, my computer, and I guess no there was some noise. So I'm very sorry for this. I thank, thanking uh, one of our colleagues for for letting me know. So, Mr. Kim, I'm with uh, tourism. Uh, I think we're quite excited about uh, this technology. I think uh, the the tourism events worldwide, uh, which we used to attend physically, has now now been moved to uh, to virtual events. So, I think this is going to be one of the good events. And even for within Bhutan, I probably think it would be very useful. Uh, my question is: I think looking at some of the uh, some of the technology, had you had one called helicopter? Yeah, helicopter. Yeah. So I'm quite interested. How how does this helicopter work? Is it? I think it's most <laughs> more of a simulation through uh, visual glasses. Is it something like that? So I want to be a bit more on this helicopter. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, this uh, this one is a uh, uh, this one is a uh, uh, helicopter. Uh, I can show some. Some video from from my uh, my uh, my Facebook uh, has some uh, video. Okay. So I may show you some of my video from my telecopter. So uh, this uh, this video uh, I can show you how it looks like. Uh, 
So this this is uh, uh, from my Facebook. You see, they have a motion. So from here, this this is a 360 video from one of the uh, island in Korea, which is very isolated, small island, uh, which we have a territorial problem with uh, Japan. Anyway, that place has a too wide. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, I mean, the, uh, the, the very difficult to visit anyway. Small island, too wild, the waters, and then uh, the the tapuns. So here we uh, we use this technology. Uh, I just tested using this one to have the 360 video from drone. Uh, after that, uh, the I check the the. The drone's motion. Uh, so the, the drone, drone's motion we make here. It's like they are sitting in the drone. So our technology is how we make uh, this kind of feeling it realistic on this uh, simulator. So after uh, after such kind of technology, they feel all these people feeling like they are they are riding the tele helicopter, is flying over this uh, these mountains. So same idea, you can use the, the drone to, to record and you send us, we make a video so they can feel as like they are flying there, which is called helicopter, not helicopter. So this is a virtual helicopter technology. So we can put this one in that mountain. You know, there is a lot of powers. We, we solve how we can use a small power to make such kind of effect. So all this kind of uh, uh, technology we already made. So we are uh, we are going to start that kind of deployment in tourist area. So once you have uh, permission from your government, from your tourist uh, uh, place, you put that kind of uh, simulator in in the mountain in the nice place, so people safely travel. Furthermore, as like I'm, I'm doing the e studio, i studio presentation, actually better presentation than listening in the classroom. So everybody believe classroom teaching is the best way, but I'm I'm not agree the blackboard or projector screen teaching classroom is the uh, the best way of teaching in the class. I'm emphasize they should use the science to the in the class. Then the stu students has a better understanding and more concentration. Same time teacher has a more easy and powerful tools to show. It's like I'm switching this video, that video, this picture, or the other people there. Everything is a uh, uh, really uh, new uh, way of presentation so people can really enjoy. You already saw this one from this Zoom. So that's why I, I really hope you used the Another thing, it's like a classroom can be enhanced, teaching classroom uh, education can be enhanced by this IS2 technology. Same thing. I really believe this helicopter really changed the way of traveling. So they just make uh, the helicopter virtual experience, which is a much better uh, the experience to the people. They can go micro scale traveling in the small mountain or small flowers. And also they can go outside the view from the God. You know, God is in the sky. They can see the landscape video from the gym. I mean the the uh, drone. So all that, all this kind of a new way of uh, the presentation for tourists is uh, making the problem solving. Like uh, traveling has to go there. Everybody, every government believe they should invite people to come. And now after COVID, there are too many problems. So once we have video and simulator in Korea and they write and every time they see just three dollar they pay one dollar to Bhutan because uh, the content is, belongs to Bhutan. We can make this kind of a business to make uh, content sharing. You put the video there, we, we convert, we put this uh, simulator there. Even people who visit the Nepal, the Himalaya mountain climbing, they don't know what weather today is. Then there is a, a Sherpa going to the mountain morning and, and, and send the video in the in the bottom and they can see the flying view to see more understanding what situation or weather in the mountain happened. They have to pay $50 to see this kind of video to prepare before they go there. 
All the new business idea we can create using VR AR technology. This is what we all together now start the business. I, I'm trying to bring the money to you. I'm not bringing the money back to here. We can share together. So all the value of Value of Can things I, we I, have to do this. The technology. Thank you. I just one more question before I think other people I give a chance to other people to ask questions. This as a group, I'm aware. I think this technology is there. Virtual uh, VR, uh, uh, VR, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, incorporated uh, experience is there. What I'm interested in is, is you know, more number of countries are now using it for individuals for example through VR technology you know for example I can uh, jump in a river I walk over the bridge you know I can look around maybe I can look up so I think there has been certain uh, some um, uh, innovation creative ideas being uh, developed by a few countries so I was wondering if Dr. Kim's technology this helicopter is can be uh, you know uh, uh, can also do something like this because for especially for tourism destinations as a teaser for example, one of the famous uh, attractions of Bhutan is the Tiger's Nest. I'm sure you know this, Tatsang. We can, you know, through this technology, we can give them a teaser of how the experience is going to be online. And yeah. then they are made interested to come to Bhutan. So yes. is this possible through this <laughs> helicopter VR technology that you have? Yeah, and anyway, from, from the business point, I'm sorry for talking about business point. Uh, business point means uh, how people enjoy it so they can pay how we do service to cover our service fee so there are many special techniques which we can use for VR for many many different area I'm not the uh, person who can cover everything I just want to concentrate only one technology which I show you already which means this kind of a uh, helicopter uh, helicopter we, we just put six people or nine people there and then uh, when I bring this machine in any place, any tourist place, I have to solve many problems. Power problem, I mean, we need uh, about 10 kilowatt power. So I, I solve this problem without any uh, real 10 kilowatt, but some, some small power, we can, uh, we can do this. Easy deploy from any place. And then the people who go there, for example, in uh, Grand Canyon, they, they need another thousand different courses to visit. Grand Canyon has many many nice places. We make a video, put there, five minutes they see, another one five minutes. How, how much they are ready to pay? Maybe five to ten dollar. When they visit there, they, they pay several thousand dollars to visit there. So they will not save five or ten dollar per one course. So they can see five or ten more course traveling, virtual experience and this one. Of course, every people who make a virtual simulator, whatever, they can do this. Yes, but when you try to use this one for that business, there are many, many obstacles, many, many limitations, and quality is not good as mine. So I'm, I'm providing the way how easily you can start now, how easily you can create this video from your point. There are many people uh, say they can do this, but when you really try, show me and bring this one, go to business immediately, then you will, you will see many limitations there. That's a uh, that's a problem for for this kind of thing. So I am I am trying to uh, solve all the problem. I am trying to make this one happen in, in now. As you see, this e studio it looks simple, but try to find similar one from the market. Nobody has. There are technology. Everybody say yes, I can do this. But try to develop this. The, it is it will take a one or two year more. Same thing, that bring the helicopter there. Yes, this is possible, but where is this helicopter? What the price? It's unbelievable high, and then you, when you try to make a content by yourself using drone, they say, yes, it's possible. And bring this, and nobody will bring you. So uh, uh, everybody believe they can do uh, this, but I don't want to, to, to say this is possible. I, I won't say now we can start to make this one happening in this uh, the COVID environment. I am I'm bring this to, the, to your class and the, the class can go everywhere in the world. Using the existing technology which human beings made, helicopter same, once you do there, I can show this one in Korea. They don't have to visit Bhutan, but once they really enjoy Bhutan, they will fly to go to physical contact, physical smell, physical make a meditation there. So, uh, anyway, today okay, we... Thank you, Mr. Dabchu. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, 
uh, I'd like to get some question from uh, Minister of Education. Is there any expert ITs? I guess I have seen uh, in our group chat. So please do raise some question to Dr. Kim from education side. We have uh, colleges and we have a university. We have a central school. Mm -hmm. So please uh, raise some question to Mr. Kim. Is anybody there from uh, education side? Please raise some question to Mr. Uh, Dr. Kim. Uh, education side. Agriculture side, please raise some question to Dr. Kim. Anybody? <laughs> uh, the 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 Shiba sang sound very uh, weak. Can you uh, do one more question? Yeah, Yes, yes, we can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, so uh, uh, Mr. Sonam, uh, he is the one who coordinated today. So uh, if you have a free uh, mm. question, I say, anybody please, uh, question I say, it is the first time we are experiencing the COVID 19 international. There is so mm. many uh, people who are looking for the, what is it, use of COVID 19. So uh, thank you, Dr. King, you are giving four. So, uh, uh, yes, I think uh, the lady, the, uh, I don't know really name of, of her, so the pink lady, I mean, uh, uh, wearing the pink uh, tego, she will, uh, I mean, uh, uh, rest the question, please, go ahead. Madam Sangyi Oh, Madam Sangyi Wamo, please, please. We'd like to hear some question uh, for Dr. Kim. Uh, Are you coming? First of okay, thanks, thanks. Please go ahead now. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Kim for his uh, presentation. Um, actually, this is the first time I am um, seeing this uh, studio. So I was actually thinking about how we could use it in the um, remote places of our schools like our schools all the students do not have access to good uh, facilities of um, using the virtual classroom so i was having that doubt like what can we do to overcome that so is there any possible ways using this doctor <laughs> that's just one doubt that i have yeah, this this one anyway for for teachers, so once you have one notebook in any space, a uh, teacher can can come and record and sending video for students to watch in case uh, people can not come to the class. What they can do uh, live, uh, in, uh, the uh, interactive question and answer using this method is like we are doing. This one looks very simple, but actually the effectiveness of this classroom is really enhanced the way of teaching for teacher and also both for students teachers so uh, the the software anyway is now available for free version as like a zoom so you can download and install but you need a little bit good notebook which is about thousand dollar if you buy a new one but there are many uh, the other uh, notebook which uh, you can buy pc whatever the uh, a little bit cheaper one so uh, that's the uh, very uh, economic way you can start. If you have a budget, you can buy the full version with uh, ready to use, which is about $6,000 or $5,000 for e-studio. For broadcast uh, studio, when you build a nationwide uh, TV station style, you need to pay about $50,000, something like that. So today I just uh, select the simplest software 
which is Shiba san already have uh, one of Shiba's supporting uh, chairman uh, purchase and give him the good notebook and good software. What a pity thing is uh, Shiba san still not using, even he has a good notebook. Uh, he doesn't use because uh, some uh, maybe training we need. Maybe Shiba san send the notebook to other people to use to share. And then oh, some people visit there to make a uh, presentation recording or broadcasting all over the world. But anyway, as I mentioned, there are many uh, international cooperation or uh, project to support. So same time we can make uh, such kind of uh, ODA program uh, supporting or some other uh, way your government has to help. Because the budget we are saying is uh, it's not very expensive. It's not million dollar. It's uh, just a matter of best one is about fifty thousand dollar, including camera, micro, and every, everything. For this e studio now I am using, you can you can build by yourself like uh, several thousand dollar. So uh, the the from the student side they don't need to buy anything. The student can just watching from their mobile phone uh, something like that. So I believe we, we as long as we are willing to do something, we should discuss how to how to make this. I really looking for the partner who can uh, who can introduce this technology in, in your side there. Anyway, this is my second time. I didn't seriously thinking making business there. Anyway, Shiba san asked me to do something, so I just creating so, and the idea. And also, you have a talent, you have a people, you have a nice countries. So from that place, how we can make a business together to to help human uh, growings. So I believe there are enough uh, attractive things you have. So I, my idea is how we bring that kind of things. You are you are tourist side, you are knowledge side, you are student side. How we make a business together to make both people happy. So I I I, I have a, a very uh, a, a happy because everybody eager to listen and talk and then creating some idea together. So that means there is a way. So I believe Buddha or God really uh, working together. So uh, there is a step-by-step uh, -step enhancement. So within several months, we will make so several business together, I believe. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Please, Sanghi, please mute off your Thank you. So, Namji, uh, please uh, let's conclude. Uh, uh, there is no any question. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. I'll just, I think uh, somebody have, I'll just cross check uh, once more. Uh, please, uh, anybody from agriculture side or uh, from health uh, side, please uh, raise some question uh, uh, regarding this uh, presentation, please. Anybody there? Hello. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think uh, everybody uh, understand. Maybe we can have a uh, next time uh, yeah, next more time. practical Let's discussion see, together. Uh, big thanks and uh, big love to uh, Dr. Kim and his hard work and uh, on behalf of Dan and Dan uh, people. Let's give her. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Kim. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye thank bye, everybody. Thank you, thank you very much for all participating of this uh, event. We continue to meet and to share and find the possibility to last for this technology. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.